All right guys, so this is Matt Beck from Gratitude Education and FreeSalonEducation.com. We're using our Oster Clipper today. We're using our triple zero blade and our YS Park comb. We're just really working through. We're gonna go through here and just work a line in, slightly beveling the comb, just like we would do a scissor over comb. And we're gonna work our way up the head. Now I'm going to work real tight right at the temple area. If you can see the angle, fine if you want, why don't you try to work your way this way so you can see the angle of the comb. Real close to the scalp. So this part of my comb is real close and then it works its way out at about, you know, a nice angle. I don't know what, like I'm going to know that degree, but working our way through here. So now you can see it's a nice, tight, clean look into a little bit more depth throughout the haircut as it works its way up. Now, I'm gonna follow that line behind the ear so he can kind of move his ear out of the way and just follow it back with the comb. And now we're gonna go through, we're gonna get this done and then we'll show you the rest. So now what I'm going to do is, is work my way out. So this basically the way you see this comb, I want to start to build, start it nice and clean and tight and then build out the depth as we work our way to the crown of the head. So you'll see my comb pulling away in the haircut. That was the no look. Clipper over comb. <laughs> Ryan's like, I really appreciate that, thank you. All right, so now that we've got that side uh, nice and clean, now we're gonna work the temple area here. a square neckline so as I work my way through here Ryan likes his hair squared off so we're gonna just kind of draw this line down and etch it in a nice clean line there then I can work my way up with the trimmer and get all those little hairs off there off of his neck so it gets it nice and tight Work our way across the back. I like the way that this this neckline looks on Ryan because he's gonna have like a more rounded shape on top, and I like the square feel on the bottom. As long as it's got a nice fade to it, um, I like it.
Okay, so a couple different things that we're gonna go over with the top Orion hair. A lot of people are wearing a little bit more of a disconnected, you know, back to this haircut. So what I'm gonna do is use no guide here, but just clean up the top. So we'll bring it up here, cut just slightly, uh, a slight angle, because I want the disconnection, but I don't want it to be, I want it to be definitely longer in the front than in the back, so slight angle there. Working horizontally across the top of his head. I'll leave out some of that hair that I just cut using a guide right there. Follow that guideline. Cutting across the top of his hair. All right, so now we've worked our way through there. Then I'm gonna go through and just check that line and make sure that you know we've cut a nice straight line on the top. So anything I'm gonna cut vertically, I'm gonna go back through, cross check it horizontally. <laughs> yes, really. Just real quick. So you shouldn't really be cutting too much at this point. This is just, you know, to check it. So just dusting the ends, marrying everything together. Now I want to do a couple things. This is a cool little trick. I'm going to go in here and I can use just the, the tip of that scissor and work my way around this hairline just to take off all those little hairs in there. Turn and see what you see. So just because that one blade is moving, it allows me to cut my straight line across. Right here. And this is a good way to cut bangs too. If you have the bangs combed on the forehead, you can just work your way across. This way, looking in the mirror instead. So a nice little pop. All right, so now we're gonna style the pompadour. So what I wanna do is just add a little bit of gel. Gel is a good base for guys, and it's something that you know guys put in their hair and they think it's the only product to use. Gel is really a base product, just like a serum for women or you know a, a foam for women. So I like putting the gel in, and that'll give it hold as you dry it or as you set it. So a couple things with, with men's hair. He could set this back, if he's gonna wear this as a pompadour and he doesn't want to blow dry it, maybe he's very anti-blow dry, which some guys are. Um, slick it back like this with the gel and then let it dry like that, then run your hands through it, break up the gel, then go in and use like a pomade or something like that. Once it has the hole, then it's laying down right. Um, what I like to do here is we're gonna actually go through and blow dry it. We got our good old freestyle blow dryer. We're gonna work the hair just back. So it's not a complicated thing. You don't wanna overcomplicate a blow dry for a guy ever. And we'll just work this hair back. Laying down these sides. So using a nice airy kind of vent brush with a little lift, a little pop at the scalp, and then just keep combing it back. Basically with guys' hair, you wanna almost comb it the direction it's going to go and give it a lift in that direction as well. So the gel now is giving it hold. Before we would probably go in, just blow dry a guy's hair, then add the product to it. Then it's not going to have an all day hold when he goes to style. So.
we can teach our guests how to use the airflow to push hair where we want it to go, then they won't have issues with calyx because calyx aren't really that big of a deal as long as you push the wind and push the hair in the direction you want it to live and not let it dry naturally. So you can see it's starting to dry, and it's drying with hold, and that's what I like. It already has a texture to it. It has, you know, a nice feel that it's going to stay like this for the whole day. We have our volume here. This is a little dance though, but I'm gonna do one more little trick. Thank you, sir. One more little trick here, we're gonna take a round brush, a real small round brush. I know you're gonna think to yourself, I can't get a guy to do this. I think the same thing, but I also feel that if it's just this one section, we can do that. So just taking the hair, over directing it straight down. Let this be back. So over direct it straight down. Turn on our blow dryer. And we'll just work that one section. And my, um, a little tip real quick. If you want it to flow this way, I'm gonna round brush it this direction. So just round brush it the opposite direction that you want it to fly back. So I don't want it to just come straight up and over. I think that's gonna look silly on, silly on a guy. So I'm gonna go off to his left hand side with the blow dry. Now changing oil is more complicated than that, so I'm pretty sure they can learn how to just do that one little step. Then what we're gonna do, we're gonna take a product, I like this product, Clean Cut. Um, it's a nice creamy pomade. We take about a fingertip full. We'd need a lot more if we didn't have the gel already in there. We're gonna run that in our hands, make sure that it basically turns our hands completely white. So the product's completely smushed in there. Then what I'm gonna do is bring this, <laughs> look at that, nice volume there. We're gonna work that through, top there. And you'll start to see how it was round brushed forward, we'll start to bend into the rest of the hair. So now you can kind of see, as we put this through. Get some volume there, buddy. You can start to see how that has a really cool kick to the front, and it doesn't just lay flat or lay straight back on its hair. And that is our quick little Pompadour style on Ryan. Thank you guys for subscribing to us.